Okay, here is the second part with all my pantry stuff. So, um, the beers, the Trader Jose Light, and then the Oktoberfest. Um, and I'll just do the drink stuff. So we got some of the, the pink lemonade. Um, I've been kind of having a little taste for a Bloody Mary. And then here we have the uh, watermelon cucumber cooler. And I got this for my daughter uh, for her place, the spiced apple cider. What else is there? Oh, I got some wine and a bottle of water. So we can do, we'll start here, the seasoning. So these are all the seasonings that I hear everybody rave about on YouTube. So I got the chili lime, the 21 seasoning salute, the onion salt, and everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend. I got some gnocchi, um, some whole wheat pasta, this brown rice uh, fusilli, uh, the pumpkin o's um, for my daughter's girlfriend. I think she'll like those. And then um, my youngest son he likes the cinnamon toast crunch so um i'll probably just empty those out of the box so he doesn't realize that they're not the quote unquote official uh cinnamon toast crunch and then uh we have some apples garlic uh red onions and some sweet onions some mandarin oranges and grape tomatoes. Um, I got some chicken broth, so I got the beef, some vegetable, and some chicken um, because it's getting fall time, and in fall time I like to make some soups. Um, the shelf stable whipping cream because the holidays are coming up and the shelf life is still December 15th, so that's pretty good. I haven't tried the tomato paste in the tube, but it's nice for when you just need a squirt instead of like a can that I use for uh, uh, when I make chili. The salsa verde, the pear halves. I got um, the Romano Caesar dressing, it just sounds really good. The soyaki and some cocktail. Uh, figured we'd use that with the shrimp. So I got two different kinds of pickles. I like using that as bread. Um, I had the um, vertical sleeve gastrectomy, so I will use two slices of, the, of those in place of uh, bread. And then I just, we love pickles here in this house. So I got two of the tomato basil and then one of the roasted garlic uh, marinara sauce. Um, I got some of this coffee and then the pumpkin spice and I also got uh, this I've been making it's sitting out right here um, my own cold brew coffee um, and I, I can't even remember what kind of beans those are um, so that's my first time in making the cold brew coffee myself so we'll see how that turns out um, I got some of the spice tea and then the harvest blend tea uh, and then I got some K-cups for when I just want a, a cup of hot coffee um, some more uh, whole wheat pasta uh, some black olives we love black olives um, coconut milk and coconut cream and then some minced garlic some sliced black olives uh, like for pizza um, some pitted Kalamata olives uh, and oil. I don't think I've ever had, oh, sorry, I don't think I've ever had them in oil. Some diced green chilies, refried beans, salsa style, and then these are like your traditional style fat free ones. Um, I'm going to be making chili because, especially when my husband's home, uh, if it's cold out and he's been out hunting, the chili can warm him up pretty quick. Um, so black beans and kidney beans. Um, I got some popcorn. I don't 
after watching or seeing on the news about uh, the microwave popcorn and how it was giving all the employees cancers with all the chemicals and crap they use in it, I've been making my own popcorn on the stove. Uh, and it does. It tastes so much better. Some hard taco shells. And then I got the apple and strawberry, uh, you know, cereal bars. Uh, I think I covered it for right there. Okay. So I, I did get a lot of snacks, but we are a family of six, seven, including, well, my son is stationed over in Hawaii, but my daughter's girlfriend, they come over here and everything. So, um, I have a lot of snacks, uh, probably won't break any of these out until they finish up all the snacks we have right now. So the cheese crunchers, the apple sticks, the corn dippers, um, I got some of the Chicago corn, uh, uh, the nacho cheese tortilla chips. My youngest son loves those. These, I figured, would be a decent snack for me. Um, I, I don't know. I'm trying to stay away from carbs. I'm not afraid of them, but just trying to really limit my carbs. And then for when we have our get-togethers, uh, the corn tortilla chips. I got um, this uh, sliced brioche bread. I figured I'd make some French toast with that. Um, I got uh, some cocoa powder because it's getting chilly out and we like hot cocoa. The maple leaf cookies I heard were really delicious, so both of my boys are probably like that. And then my husband and my middle son um, will probably snack on this granola right here. And then some turbinado um, cane sugar. I got some uh, cinnamon grams and then the dunkers that the bottom side is covered in chocolate. This cookie butter, which I can't wait to sample. Some of these Marcona olives that I am excited to try with rosemary. Did I say olives? Almonds. Sheesh. I love olives too. Um, the Thai lime and chili. I might have to hide those because I don't want my husband eating. <laughs> um, some of the fruit snacks. Um, I'm not sure if my kids will like those, but uh, we'll see. And then some chocolate bars. The nutritional yeast that I can sprinkle on my um, popcorn. And then I got, um, oh, these look delicious. I don't know why I got some of this stuff because it's so tempting, especially these butter cups. I hear a lot of people like those, um, peanut butter cups. Um, baking seasons come around. I will bake up a whole bunch of cookies to send over to my husband in Afghanistan and then send to my son over in Hawaii and then some marshmallows. Um, I spent, well, uh, I don't even know where my receipt is. There's my receipt. I spent, now granted, if there was a Trader Joe's closer, I wouldn't have to suck up like this. Because <laughs> um, I bought, like, seemed like two of everything. But base pretty much, um, uh, I don't know if it's focusing that good. Um, $533 and 90 cents. Um, but I'm done. I like it. They're supposed to be building a Sam's club that is going to be a little bit closer to me. So instead of driving almost two hours, I will only have to drive, uh, like an hour, <laughs> um, which is far better than two hours, but that is my huge grocery haul. That's one thing. I don't like when people say that they did a huge Trader Joe's haul and they spent $50. That's not a huge haul. Um, a huge haul to me is, you know, your countertops are filled with food. But... Um, so we'll see, um, if anybody else has any re other recommendations of stuff to try, uh, just leave it below in the comments.